Welcome again. It is good to have you back. I hope that the course until now has delivered what you expected. In this last week we shall look into the aspects which may, for a technically oriented person, feel as circumstantial. Yet for policymakers, economists, entrepreneurs, they are paramount. We shall learn about aspects of economy, investments and sustainability. Do you remember from the first week why we want to establish a bio-based economy? Replacing fossil-based energy and materials helps to save on feedstock usage, it reduces emissions of greenhouse gases and it mitigates climate change. It can also help in establishing economic advantages by innovation and reviving regional and rural economies. Actually, one of the main goals in the bio-based economy is to realize added value or profit. In the common thread picture, the triangle of products in fact depicts the idea that some products have a higher added value than others. From an economic perspective, it may be wise to especially pursue the higher pathways. Yet, by now you will understand that both economics and sustainability depend on the summation over the entire supply chain and over the different main and side products that are produced. We have quite a challenge ahead if we want to reach our goals. Governments have high ambitions. Worldwide they apply different instruments in terms of quota, production subsidies or fiscal measures to provoke private investments. The results differ per country, but in the end will the sector be able to make a profit without being dependent on high government subsidies? Does it pay to invest in these new products and markets? One aspect which is particular to bio-based business cases is the dependence on feedstock. Is it available in high enough volumes and at low enough costs? If residuals is your focus, they may not be available all year round. Crops prices are seasonal. Every feedstock comes with a price and in the end you may find yourself competing with yourself. One example. Pig manure in the Netherlands is in surplus. You may not dump it and therefore it is offered on the market with a premium. A Dutch energy company recently considering to invest in a large scale manure processor had to reckon with a 50% decrease in the feedstock premium as a result of their entering the market, which largely influenced their business case. When pharma cooperatives start to deliver to chemical industries or when individual farmers start to produce energy from biogas, they pursue a new product and a new market at the same time. In the strategy model of ANSOF, such diversification is identified as financially the most risky strategy also known as the suicide cell. It requires completely new capabilities, new techniques and new facilities. As a result, this leads almost inevitably to physical and organizational changes in the company's structures and relations. This is one rationale to look for so-called drop-in solutions, using the new bio-based materials as an exact replacement of former fossil feedstock otherwise using the same facilities, processes and infrastructure. However, drop-in may block better solutions and the innovating producer has to beat the fossil competition in their own terrain and specifications, which is hard in its own right. In order to decrease the initial cost price and to scale up production, it is important to have a motivated launching customer. You saw the example of the plant bottle initiated by Coca-Cola also, quota or fiscal measures by governments actually create a launching market. Realize that such premiums are temporary. When Germany, by means of excise exemption, had built a remarkable volume in the biodiesel market, it proved too expensive, the exemption was lifted and the biodiesel sector collapsed in months. In general, this video gave you both an economic motivation and an economic precondition for the bio-based economy respectively the added value and investability. Both will return in more detail in the guest lecture by Professor Johan Sanders. In my last lecture, I will treat sustainability of the bio-based economy in more depth.